Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa. And she said, she is Christine. So with no further ado, let's get started. This time, we will be talking about how elements move inside clockology. Sorry Christine, I am not talking about that moves. There are different ways to make an element or object move. But the basic ways are, number one, making an image rotate, and number two, using the hour, minute and seconds hand. Let me show you how they are set up in different ways. Let's see how this watch face moves. The screw. The rotating hour, minute, and seconds. And the small rotating metal around the hour. Let's start with the screw. Create an image layer, then, upload the screw image. You can check my video about uploading and downloading if you are new on Clockology Designing. After setting up the size and its location, let's set the speed. Plus sign for clockwise rotation, and minus sign for counterclockwise. I made this dial for moving hour. I will make a different video on how I made this. For now, let's set this up in Clockology. Create an hour layer. Choose image. Then I will upload the image I made for hour. Let's move the layer and make it under our base image. Set the size and location of the layer. You can check how your hour rotate by sliding the time travel. You also need to set if your design needs to animate clockwise or not. From the design I made, I need to turn off the animate clockwise. After setting up the hour, we do the same with our minute and seconds. For the minute and seconds, I made this dial. Now let's put in clockology. Create a minute layer and set the size position and others like hour. For the seconds, I decided to use the same image in minute. As you can see, my hour, minute and seconds, all same Y position. And X position is all in zero. Now let's go to the most interesting part. It is the question where many is asking. The floating image. Remember that, clock hands rotate from an anchor point. Which means, your image rotate from the middle point of that image. This implies the same when you are making hands for your watch. Now, if you want a floating image rotating with clock hands, just create a line from the middle to serve as your guide. Then remove the unwanted images and remain the image you want to put in Clockology. Let's now set this image in our watch face. Just create a seconds layer, then upload the floating metal we made.
Duplicate the layer and turn off the animate clockwise. So that we will have two flouting metal that rotates clockwise and counterclockwise. And, we are done. Let's see what we made. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. If you are new on this channel please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos to come.